tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about getting your old Macintosh computer to work in the year 2021 and beyond. Well, the challenge with many Apple products is that Apple kind of puts the stopgap on how long you can update your Macintosh device. Doesn't matter if you use a MacBook Pro, an iMac, a Mac Mini, or MacBook Air, um, it sometimes can be a challenge to update your devices because Apple comes out with an OS that doesn't work with your older version of Mac. So there's many of you that are using older Macintosh devices and you just really can't do anything with those devices because what happens with the Mac OS is that certain things are tied into your Macintosh computer. Uh, your Mac Mail is tied into your Mac OS. Same thing with Safari and with those things tied into your operating system. If your operating system is deemed obsolete, then certain companies won't support your browser or your mail client. So I know there's many of you out there that have Macintosh products that you've probably put in the closet uh, and have up or have upgraded to a new Mac. And so the challenge with Mac products is that they're not the cheapest products out there. And if you are a Mac user, you love your Mac and you want to be able to hold on to that Mac for as long as possible. So I've got some tips that are going to help you revitalize that old Macintosh computer and give it a new lease on life. Let's take a beautiful look at uh, one of our Macintosh computers. So the good thing about Mac is Mac is Mac. Uh, easy to use, durable, and can last a pretty good long time. A nice titanium outside case just makes it a wonderful operating system. The operating system itself is pretty robust and problem free. Don't have to worry about viruses. The virus program is built into your Mac, so it just makes a good computer uh, in order for you to use uh, rather, regardless, I shouldn't say rather, regardless if you're using it for uh, home use or for business use. So with that said, let's look at how you can make sure that your old Macintosh computer is gonna run in the year 2021 and beyond. So the first thing you wanna do is if you're running an older Macintosh computer, you wanna make sure that you can update to the latest operating system. So currently right now on a Macintosh computer, the latest operating system is Catalina. And as shown by the Catalina islands that are on the Macintosh wallpaper. So if you aren't experimental like most Macintosh users aren't, Catalina is going to be your background. So if you're currently seeing this background on your Mac, it means you've got Catalina. So if you're seeing anything else like mountains or other backgrounds, it's a good possibility that you're using an older, outdated operating system. So the way, the quickest way to check is to go to the Apple menu. So in the upper left-hand corner of your Mac, you can click on the Apple menu and then go to About This Mac. Once you go to About This Mac in a few seconds, you should get the screen that lets you know which version of Catalina you have. Also, it'll let you know which version or how old your Macintosh computer is. And <clears throat> Windows really doesn't allow that because for most Windows devices, it's kind of hard to track when the computer was manufactured. But Apple, it's all internal, so you know when your Mac is made. So currently right now, the, the supported Macintosh computers are 2012 or newer as far as being able to upload or upgrade to Catalina. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is to be able to update to Catalina. So with that said, um, if you don't have Catalina on your Mac and you see a different OS on your computer, such as Mojave, Sierra, or High Sierra, uh, you can easily go to the App Store and download the latest version of Mac OS onto your Macintosh computer. Pretty darn simple. So even with the system information screen open on your Mac, you can just go back to the Apple menu. Once you go to the Apple menu, you can just click on the App Store. And one of the first things that it will show you is uh, which version or the new latest version you can get on your Mac product. Now, you can also type in Catalina 
in the search menu for the App Store. And as you can see, there's uh, Mac OS Catalina. Now, if we were to click on View, it should give us the op opportunity to get and download the um, the latest OS for your Macintosh computer. Um, now, if you don't have an updated Mac, we're going to get into what you can do to kind of buck the system as far as making sure that you can run the latest Mac OS on your computer. Uh, so the second thing that you want to look at as far as your Mac is probably upgrading the RAM on your Macintosh device. So again, um, if you go to the Apple menu and about this Mac, it'll definitely let you know how much RAM you have installed on your computer. Uh, as you can see, this computer currently only has four gigabytes of RAM. Now it runs a little sluggish because I'm remoted into this Mac, which I, I, is sitting right next to me, but RAM, uh, up, a RAM upgrade can definitely go a long ways as far as making sure that your Macintosh computer is going to go to, to 2021 and beyond. Uh, where do you get RAM and how do you do it? It depends on your Mac. Uh, most Macintosh computers can easily update to either 8 or 16 or even 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you've got an old, old Mac, then um, 4 gigabytes is probably the limit that you can get on your Mac. But there is a website that you can go to to check out memory upgrades for your Mac, and that is Crucial, which is at crucial.com. And see, there's Crucial. Oh, I'm circling it, and I'm not even showing it. So there's Crucial. So crucial.com will allow you to update your Mac. Just go to crucial.com, and you can kind of see uh, what op or upgrades are available for your computer. So the good thing about Crucial is that it has what's called the Scan Computer Utility. If you click on Scan Computer, it will allow you to download a file that will allow you to find out how quickly uh, or how easily you can get RAM for your computer and excuse that message, get that new PC feeling. They correct it here where it says PC or Mac support. So understand that you can order crucial memory for your Mac and quickly find out uh, how much RAM that you can uh, have on your computer. Uh, the good thing about Mac, you can either use this system utility or you can just type in your MacBook uh, or your Mac product going by year and it'll definitely let you know what upgrades you can have available for your Mac. So crucial is an awesome tool that you can use to order memory for your Macintosh computer. Crucial will ship it to you, but beware buyer, because depending on your Macintosh computer, it may not be real easy to install RAM. So I would highly recommend that you run the system utility on your Mac to make sure that you can even upgrade your Mac with more RAM. And if you have the following Macintosh computers, it may not be feasible for you to upgrade RAM on your computer. You may have to call a tech expert like myself to have the upgrades done. MacBook Air. MacBook Air is everything soldered onto the motherboard, so it's a good possibility you may not be able to update that MacBook Air with more RAM. If you have a MacBook Pro, uh, it could be pretty easy, depending on the MacBook Pro, if you've got an older one, to upgrade the RAM, because it's just a simple matter of removing the screws from your Mac, sticking in a memory chip, and then you're ready to go iMacs. If you have an older iMac or even a newer iMac, iMacs are almost impossible to take apart. It's all included. So with older iMacs, you sometimes have to worry about the system screen uh, causing issues because the screen is glued on with double-sided sticky tape. So it makes it impossible for you to update that Macintosh computer. Um, same thing with uh, older, older iMacs, you need a pair of suction cups to take apart the screen on a Mac and get to the innards of your Macintosh computer. Uh, if you get with a tech expert, then they can, with some difficulty, take apart your Mac and install RAM inside your Mac. Now, older Macs, their memory is right underneath the main screen on an iMac, so uh, you can easily do it. Even Mac minis are hard to install RAM on. So keep that in mind when looking at system upgrades. But keep in mind if you pay the money to get your Macintosh computer up to date, 
it can definitely uh, help your computer last a long, long time. So with that said, the next thing that you can do, which is my third tip as far as updating your Mac to run in 2021, is to add what's called a solid state hard drive. Now, solid state hard drives, are, or SSDs as they're called, uh, basically have no moving parts. So if you've got a Macintosh computer, probably up to 2015, you have a regular mechanical hard drive installed in your Mac. So if you want to upgrade it, you need to get a solid state hard drive installed in your Mac to make it run quicker. And where can you get a solid state hard drive? Oh, and we're back to Crucial. So Crucial, you can definitely order a solid state hard drive uh, for your Macintosh computer and you can easily, well, I shouldn't say easily, you could get it installed. And once you get your solid state drive installed, uh, you can uh, rest assured that your Macintosh computer will work simply. Now, one of the problems with updating uh, or installing a solid state hard drive in a Macintosh product is you want to be able to keep all of your information um, on that from the old hard drive to the new hard drive. So luckily, under the disk utility option, you can uh, clone your old hard drive onto the solid state hard drive and install it in your computer. Now again, with Macintosh products, you almost, almost always need someone with technical expertise to take a, take away or take apart your Mac and install it. So rather than going into the innards of how to replace the hard drive or the RAM in your Macintosh device, it's probably easier for me to tell you these are your upgrade options rather than you trying to upgrade it yourself. Because remember, these are all tech tips for non-tech people, but I'm trying to give you the education to so that you can make educated choices as far as what to do about your Mac. Because at the Apple store, if they don't support an older uh, legacy Mac, they aren't going to support it. But if you work with other tech companies such as ours, we can definitely help you through that process of upgrading the hard drive on your Mac or the RAM in your Mac. So an SSD definitely will make a big difference as far as the speed on your Macintosh computer. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea about the Mac that I'm using, it's a MacBook Mini. But if we again go to About This Mac under the Mac menu and then go to Storage, uh, it should definitely let you know that it has a 500 gigabyte solid state hard drive. And a solid state hard drive will breathe new life into that old Macintosh computer and make it run the way that it should. I will say this as far as the upgrade process is concerned. Uh, Keep in mind that Big Sur, which is the latest Mac OS, is on its way out or in again. So it's one of the things that you want to do moving forward is when Big Sur becomes available that you update your Macintosh computer to Big Sur to make sure that you still get full support uh, from Apple. So final tip is kind of a wild tip, but this is not for the faint of heart, but it's something that you should consider as far as running your um, Macintosh stuff. And that is, you wanna buck the system when it comes to your Mac. So bucking the system basically means that you uh, configure your Mac to run the latest operating systems rather than trying to just get rid of your Mac and finding a way to run the operating systems that you're not allowed to install on your Mac anymore. Now the process is tricky but your favorite IT professional, which is hopefully me, can help you get that installed. But buyer beware if you go through this process, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. So the best thing to do would be to visit a website called DOSDude One's personal web server, or just go to DOSDude.com. The good thing about DOSDude is that he and other hackers on the internet have figured out ways to make sure that you can make run the latest operating systems on your Macintosh computer. Now, with doing so, you may lose some features of working on your Mac, but at the same time, um, you can find ways to update your Mac to the latest operating system by going to DOS Dude's personal web server. So DOS Dude, his name is Colum, uh, specializes in Mac repair, but one of the things that he allows you to do is he has created software that will allow you to 
update your old Mac to Sierra, High Sierra, Mojave, and even Catalina. And the reason this is important because some old Macintosh computers are only able to go up to say Sierra or only able to go up to High Sierra. And so what that does in the process is that you can't use your browser or your email or other pieces of software that require you to use the latest Mac OS. So what DOS do, you can definitely, if you know, at your own risk, download the um, Patcher software and um, get your Mac to the latest version. Now it's a lot of work if you were going to run the patch software for Catalina, Mojave, uh, High Sierra, you name it. It takes a lot of work, but this option is being listed because it will definitely help you uh, utilize that old Mac and take it into the year 2021. So again, another option out there for you to know about that you may not necessarily be able to do on your own, but it's something you might want to approach your IT guy if you need to run that old Mac and to make sure that you can run, uh, say, Mojave or Catalina, which isn't supported on some of the older Macs. Now, we will say this too. If you decide to run the uh, DOS Dudes patcher software to let you run the latest updates, you probably should uh, upgrade your Macintosh computer to a solid state hard drive first. Then you can move forward with the patcher. Now I have the patcher installed on a 2011 uh, MacBook Pro and it runs like a charm. The only things that I have issues with on the Macintosh after using the patcher is the built-in EyeSight camera, which is kind of old anyway, and you need a new computer or a new camera to work. And then the Bluetooth on the MacBook doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. But both your camera and your Bluetooth functions could easily be replaced by going out and purchasing a new USB webcam or a USB uh, Bluetooth adapter in order to get those functions back on your Mac. But other than that, the Macintosh computer runs smoothly. Uh, it works great with um, Catalina installed. And uh, I think it's a decision that you wouldn't regret if you decided to go that course of action. Now this Mac mini that I'm on does not have the uh, patcher installed, but if you were to install the patcher on an old Mac and you can go back probably as far as 2010 or even earlier on your Mac and you run Catalina uh, and it will be fine. So a good option to think about when trying to make that old Macintosh computer work for you in the year 2021 and beyond. So with that said, I would highly recommend that you consider some of those upgrade options because wouldn't you love to see a screen like this on your computer, Catalina, instead of being stuck with High Sierra? So there's ways to make that happen, but make sure that you do your homework uh, before you jump into some of the more extreme update options. So with that said, um, if you have comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you would like to for me to answer and to answer some of your Mac update questions. And so I always have to throw this window up there. Be sure to like and subscribe uh, to both myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, and uh, my company Integral, or one or both, or either or. But anyway, social media accounts and YouTube channel are full of tech tip videos that are designed to help you get more from the technology you use at home and work. So I love technology, I've read all the manuals, and I'm serious about making technology fun and easy to use for everyone. Take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile, and thanks for watching.